In 2013, the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia had had enough. Worried about the number and quality of the supplements their patients were arriving with, hospital pharmacists decided to challenge manufacturers. Families are showing up literally with shopping bags full of dietary supplements. Regulatory issues in the United States are that you have to, if a patient brings a medication into a hospital, we have to, as pharmacists, verify that this is a quality product, it is what it says it is, it's labeled appropriately, it's being dosed appropriately, and so on. We got fed up. We took a step back and we said, okay, we're gonna ask these companies to at least meet a labeling standard. They have to send us something called a certificate of analysis, which means they've had their product analyzed by an independent party that says that what's on the label is what's in the bottle. 90% of the companies never responded. And of the 10% that responded, of the that 10%, often they would send us certificates of analysis where what was on the label wasn't even close to what was in the bottle. And these were the ones who responded to us, which made us fearful of an industry that we couldn't trust. For example, this is an aqueous vitamin D drop. So we use vitamin D in um, premature infants. It says it should have 400 international units per one ml of solution. However, it tells us that the results are that it's 213% of the labeled value. So it's more than double what it says that it is. So if we're dosing premature infants who need very tiny doses of this drug, we're now potentially giving them double what they should get and could really put them at risk for toxicity. In the end, only 35 supplements met the hospital standards. I come away very worried and dismayed. Uh, I'm worried mostly about what um, the American public is being exposed to because it's essentially a complete unknown. When you're buying a dietary supplement, unless you have some proof of what's in that product, it, it could be anything.